Cabello is accused of copying another artist. Plus, Billie Eilish has an emotional meeting with a fan and reveals her obsession with Taco Bell. Hey guys, it's Ali for Hollywood Light with your pop star roundup, starting with Zed, the EDM artist who isn't a pop star, Nick, just posted a video revealing he's kicking off the hashtag do good things challenge in which you either donate to charity, buy someone coffee, or not kill your producer for terrible grammar in his scripts. But seriously, I actually like what Zed's doing with this. Let us know what good deed you plan to do for someone in the comments below. It also seems like Billie Eilish is partaking in the challenge. iHeartRadio posted footage of the singer meeting a 12-year-old fan who's confined to a wheelchair after severe head-on collision. We cut to the emotional video, but unfortunately, Sean Paul's Get Busy was blasting in the background. If you're wondering if the song ruined the moment, somehow it did not. Make sure to check the full video on iHeart's channel later. But okay, Billy is also trying to do more good when it comes to animals. Besides being a vegan, Billy took the time to call out people who use mink. These animals are so cute. Well, except for this one. This one just looks like a disappointed supervisor from McDonald's. Now, speaking of fast food, Billie Eilish also revealed that she's a big fan of Taco Bell's burritos. I'm gonna get 18 bean burritos okay. with only beans, nothing else, only beans inside. Only beans, nothing else. Only beans, 18 burritos and only beans. Okay. You know what? Make that 20. Okay. Swear to God. Good thing Billy's vegan because Taco Bell just discovered metal shavings in their meat and had to recall about 2.3 million pounds of beef. Now to Camila Cabello, she just spoke to Kiss FM UK and revealed her ex may have inspired some of the tracks on her new album. Very standard. Camila also admitted in previous songs that her stories about relationships mostly came from an imaginary place. This was due to her not really dating before her 20s and now I'm conflicted if never be the same will ever be the same. Now to the drama. While Camila is having the best time promoting her upcoming album, some fans are not too happy with certain tracks, specifically the song Liar. Some fans notice Camila's record sounds eerily similar to Marina's song Karma and now she's being accused of plagiarism. One fan even revealed the song's melody is similar to another track from Cali. Wait, would this mean Cali copied Marina or the other way around? This is like the time Ariana Grande was accused of stealing from Two Chains, Princess Nokia, and Soldier Boy all at the same time. And speaking of stealing, Lizzo is being accused of jacking her signature DNA test line. Justin and Jeremiah Raisin have spoken out publicly claiming that they wrote the line for a song called Healthy with Lizzo and two other writers in April 2017. However, they were not contacted about the use of the line for Truth Hurts. The brothers also revealed that they allegedly got the line from a tweet made by British singer Minna Linus. So these two are over here crying about Lizzo when they themselves weren't original and didn't credit Mina when they took the line for healthy. Right now, the music industry is that one Spider-Man meme and uh, I just, I don't know anymore. But all right, while we can't play the track, let us know if you think the songs are similar. And also don't forget to hit the sub, like, and bell button and follow me on social media at Ali Stagnita. Bye, guys.